Today we're going to put these into this. Let's do it. Now this, and I had to write it down, is an Asus ROG Strix GL703GS SCAR. It's an i7-8750H, which is 8th uh, gen, and it's got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 512GB SSD as the C drive, a 1GB sorry, a one terabyte um, SSHD, that's a hybrid two and a half inch uh, drive as the D drive, and an eight gigabyte GTX 1070 for graphics. And it's got Windows 11 on it, Windows 11 Home. Is, we're gonna shut down here this. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take the back off and we're going to replace the one terabyte hybrid drive with a two terabyte SSD. And we're going to add another 16 gigabytes of DDR4 to bring it up to its full 32 gigabytes. So there's a quick access panel on the back here, which we can get to by levering up this little rubber tab. and then undoing the one small Phillips head screw. Where's my Phillips head screwdriver gone? There it is. Right, okay. So we've got this one little screw. Which needs a little screwdriver. Okay, and then we can lift this out. It clips down, so we need to pop screwdriver underneath and just pop the clips out there we go and that reveals the user accessible parts on the inside so this is one sodium slot one MVME uh, underneath this little rubber cover, plastic cover. That's the C drive and the um, hybrid drive is the D drive. So we're going to add I figure out how to open the packet. There we go. So we're going to add this memory and it will only go in one way around. Like that. That's that job done. And then we are going to add this 200 gigabyte 200 terabyte SSD. Let's use a knife to cut the tab open. There we go. Got a little mounting frame, a little manual, warranty, warranty, support, 20% restocking fee, okay. In many, many languages, right. And the drive itself. 0.5 inch solid state drive, 
MX500. To take this one out, we need to undo the four screws. There we go, and there's a little pull tab here. You can disconnect the drive from the cable. Now we have to take it out of the caddy and there's four more screws. So that can come out. And that can go in. Let me just line the holes up and screw it back in. Right, that's and this will just plug in. that down there. Okay, so now we just put the access panel back. That just snaps in. One final screw and job done. Push the rubber panel back. This can go in the box that that came from. Right. Let's turn it over and switch it on. Let's see what we've got. Had me worried for a second, it was taking so long. There we go. Right, so installed RAM 32 gigabytes. That's good. Disk management. Disk one unknown, 1863. Okay. GPD, I suppose that's probably fine. New simple volume next. Full size. We're going to call it D. And we're going to call it data. There we go. So now I can restore the backup that I made of this um, original disk. And everything's going to be hunky-dory. Thank you for watching. See you again. Like and subscribe if you so desire. Cheers.
Bye.